Hello and welcome to a review of uh, bootleg figures from a company called WM. I have no idea, I have no idea what that stands for, but they seem to be the new Pogo or XNH brand, uh, and their release style is individual figures. They don't really release really sets, although, just like Pogo used to do, that they will group up a bunch of random figures after they've all been released one after the other, and so you just buy a set instead of just getting them individually. So here are a bunch of random figures. I bought a, a lot more of these, but uh, these have been grouped into the DC and Marvel stuff. I say DC because there is one DC figure that I got from them, and that's Constantine, Constantine standing in the corner there. But the, all the other ones are uh, Marvel characters. Just off camera next to me, there's a bunch of um, sort of uh, real life or uh, movie uh, action stars. There's uh, video game characters, anime characters, uh, TV show characters, and as well as a bunch of horror themed characters. Uh, there's a lot of them that are coming out right now because October is coming soon. And I will say this right now, a lot of these figures next to me, not on screen, but um, a lot of the ones off screen next to me, are pretty much copied from minifigures.com in their designs, which um, I guess the bootleg companies just bought the entire inventory and just made their own. But anyway, back to here. So uh, we have a chromed armed uh, Winter Soldier here, and that's by default is already kind of cool because it's got chrome arm. Um, another sort of amazing Spider Man suit, and it does have uh, silver printing uh, based on the uh, limited figure. Uh, no back leg printing, but it's got printing all over. And um, you know, later you take with take closer, you'll see the little compound eye effect that they printed on him. We have uh, Iron Fist in white, Iron Fist in green, and TV version of Iron Fist. Lady Deadpool, we got uh, Wolverine and uh, Lara X, uh, X23, I forgot, forgot her number, uh, from the movie. I have a second Wolverine there, Old Man Logan there, from a different bundle that I bought. And uh, we have Constantine, which looks like his TV version. <laughs> the beard doesn't quite match his hair color. And all of these figures do have a spare minifigure hand, just like Pogo and XINH, and they all come on the standard uh, Lego minifigure stand. And uh, no boxes or anything, they all come in tiny little baggies. So the ad just ran out of space for Constantine, so you can stand there. Oh, hey. Uh, <laughs> so. Yeah, the minifigure plate, since this is the first time we're talking about this brand, I might as well go over uh, the quality of how I feel about the accessories. And so far, all these minifigure uh, plates, stands, uh, they fit really well to uh, each other. None of them are loose at all. Now, previously, even with Pogo, uh, SI Energy, or whatever brand, or Deku, sometimes the stands uh, clutch would be a little bit too tight, a little bit too loose. Here, they all seem perfect. However, there are some little bit of plastic bits just around the edge that can quite can get sharp. A lot of all these figures, three of them, have a little bit of uh, runoffs from the plastic, so that's something that can happen. Uh, Spider Man has a standard web, uh, pretty, honestly, it looks pretty much just like your regular Lego uh, web lining, and it's secure and it's fine. Winter Soldier has a gun that's way too big for him, but um, this just looks like a standard sniper rifle that we've seen with many, many other. Uh, figure packs and whatnot. Although, uh, there's one interesting bit, just right down there, there is an actual bump on this area, so you can actually have the minifigure hold it down there if you want to. Uh, Lady Deadpool has a sword backpack thingy, and the swords fall out far too easily. It's very loose, it's just annoying. Uh, the, the plastic of the swords are made out of a soft ish material, not rubbery soft, but um, definitely has uh, enough durability that uh, you won't snap it right away if you push or force it down on it. Uh, Wolverine has uh, metallic, not metallic, it's just sort of a silverish plastic with the claws thing, and this one actually holds on to it, unlike the official Lego one. Uh, this one resembles the uh, movie prop, or the props you can get in stores a bit more, because you can see he's actually holding underneath it, just sort of grabbing hold to it. Um, now, yeah, the claws doesn't, you know, go for his fingers, because Lego figures, or the design doesn't have any fingers, so it doesn't have that. And um, Laura there has a, a two-claw version of these, so uh, no doubt these are copied from certain customizing brick people, uh, but uh, the claws are, are done in a pretty nice quality. Constantine here has his uh, jacket and a tiny little knife, which um, he doesn't need, <laughs> I think it's pointless, standard Lego-ish knife, dagger, um, would have been much better if it came with a tiny cigarette, because that's what he smokes, or a cigar or something. He has this jacket too, which is really annoying. I don't like this. It, the material is far too thin. It's the same material that you might get from a uh, Pogo figure. So you have any of those capes from Pogo, you know what to expect with these. Very thin material, very easy to break. It's got a shiny texture to it. 
and it doesn't match his arm colors and it's not it's too weak you can see it's actually coming down it looks quite distracting like he's pulling his he's constantly pulling his coat off sort of uh, it, these figures also have a pretty good clutch none of the arms and, and hands or legs are too loose etc uh, the only one that has a problem from this lot of figures is that um, his feet don't really stick on too well he, he comes off quite easily so he can fall over it's just like the TV version he's the pathetic one <laughs> um, but all the other ones don't have any clutch issues whatsoever um, let's just take a look at Constantine first because he, he's the only odd one out here that's a DC figure print job's pretty good, face pretty good, hair colour is way too off if I take this jacket off uh, you're left with a white torso with a uh, green arm thing going on but uh... well... Uh, eh. there's back printing there the figure itself looks okay but he, can, he definitely needs a new jacket let me just put that back on him another reason why I don't like these jackets is um, first of all the collar comes back up and it looks stupid every time you move the arm the jacket goes with it because the, the, the gap between the arm and the torso is very thin and it's just constantly rubbing along with it so um, it's very distracting there's a little cut down at the bottom but uh, fair figures decent probably change the hairpiece and find something else to replace the jacket anywho back to the Marvel side uh, all of them have pretty decent printing, it's very sharp and stuff, it's not as shiny as official LEGO, but uh, I think that's fine, uh, depends how you feel, some people prefer the matte finish from all of these, and um, and these are uh, pretty much the same head, the black ink on this one is a little bit thicker, uh, here we have Danny here, now because he does come with extra hands, he does have an extra flesh hand, so if you don't want him, his eye and fist to be a transparent plastic, then you know, uh, swap that around, and he does have a more angry face on the back uh, yeah he kinda looks like Danny I guess so um, the other two Iron Fists also have very basic back print standard now oh, next up we have Spider-Man and uh, Spider-Man if you take a close look at the eyes let's do a closer look uh, he Actually, has some some netting, some lining compound eye effect printed on the white, you know, silver print on white. So it's hard to spot at times, but the detail is there, and it's quite nice. Uh, this might be one of the best uh, versions of this figure out there. The arm printing is good, side leg print is good. It's just unfortunate there's no back leg printing. So uh, this, is, this almost could have been the perfect copy of this particular design if they did the leg print, which is a shame because uh, it's a really good figure. Winter Soldier here, it's just a, it looks like the standard uh, Lego one that they've copied. Can't remember if you have a, he doesn't have a secondary face. So, and uh, here is his uh, metallic chrome finish arm oh, and chrome finish hands. So that's pretty cool. The uh, red X, the Russian X, no, the star, uh, is printed slightly to the front. So it's not directly on the side. He does have basic back printing, but um, honestly, you're getting this because he has a chrome arm. And it's pretty cool. Now, chroming it up does mean that the arm's a little bit thicker than the regular arm plastic, so when uh, assembling the figure, it, it gets it's a little bit harder, a little bit tougher, but it uh, gets the job done. Uh, once it's in there, it's in there. Next, we have Lady Deadpool, which um, on the surface is decent enough. You've got the basic you know, females or body shape uh, applied to the Deadpool design. And the leg uh, print carries on. The design and she's got some arm printing there, some basic just straps and black linings, and the back there. But um, aside from her loose swords, the head's also slightly looser than the near ones. Not that it falls off anything, but it's noticeable. And the hairpiece is just sort of plugged in to the uh, hole on the top of, of the head stud. Uh, the thing is, we've had Lady Deadpool before in previous sets. I think it was, was a Shingyan or DLP. Anyway, we have this one here, and um, even though she doesn't have arm printing, the hair has a uh, it's like some bands around it, so it looks like the, the, she's tied her hair up, and uh, she's got some nicer back print, whereas this one is a little bit boring. And the head print on this one is also nicer as well, because she's got some sort of female eyelashes just off the eyes, whereas this one just um, some nothing really female about the head. So, and uh, the detailing on the legs of the other one. It's also much more nicer, more detailed, so yeah. 
And finally, we have old man Logan and his daughter. And uh, yeah, he's printed really, really well. And just taking a look at the other Logan that I have, he's one's also done really nicely as well. So uh, no problems with that. And um, no, no back head print or anything. Uh, Would have been nice if he had like a Wolverine's Rage uh, sort of expression going on. And uh, Laura there does have a back sort of simple girl face, simple back print. And uh, she's printed pretty nicely as well. So uh, good, good figure to have. Obviously, Lego would not release really, because it's an R based on an R-rated movie. But um, I'm sure that this is a figure that a lot of people uh, do want to get their hands on. The thing to note on these is that uh, the necks aren't a little bit stiff the first time getting out of the packet, but after the initial you know, sort of pop, when you move them or remove them from the neck, uh, it becomes smooth. So that's fine, I guess. Um, I'm quite impressed with these. Uh, f when I first got them, I was expecting something like Pogo in the early days. Yeah, a lot of people like Pogo and XI NH now, but if you remember when Pogo first started off, there were a lot of runoffs on the plastic, all the colors looked dull, and it was just sort of kind of rubbish. But Pogo's improved quite a lot now. But here with WM, they come right out, and the figures here are quite good. Uh, at least I think these are the first batch of fig some of the first batch of figures that they've done. I've not really seen them that long ago and um, you know you pick them individually they're not in sets so depending on what figures you want that might be convenient for you so if you like these characters and you're looking for things that Lego hasn't produced or stuff that's too expensive to get from the official ones and these are nice to consider uh, the plastic feels good in the hand it feels good to play around with them uh, as I'm speaking now, I'm fiddling with the extra uh, Logan figure that I have, just messing around with it and uh, see how it feels. And uh, it feels good to play around with. So yeah, if you like these characters, like the designs, this is I definitely recommend you picking some of these up if you can. Subscribe to Justin Card below, and of course, take care, have a nice day. I will see you guys soon. Bye bye now.